Hey everybody, this is Chad with Thriving Canine and the tip I wanna share with you today is a little video that I took uh, with a client. We're using a flexi lead to take the dog out and the issue with flexi leads, uh, I think one of the biggest hazards with the flexi lead is that it's almost inevitable that it's gonna slip out of your hand. And when it falls out of your hand and then the dog goes, it chases the dog and then the dog's panicking. Oh my God, this thing is chasing me. And guess what? They, they can never outrun it. No matter how fast they go, this thing just keeps chasing them. And it, it could be very, very dangerous. So that's what this video is about. Then um, in case you're worried about uh, whether it's appropriate to use a flexi lead and a harness and why we chose those tools for this particular situation. Um, if that interests you, I'll save that to the end. I'll have a little discussion about that at the end. But the fact of the matter is, many, many people are using the flexi leads and this is something that happens quite frequently and it's very dangerous. So we gotta proof the dog against that so that they don't panic when the thing starts to chase them. So here we go. Okay, so we're gonna put this on the, the flexi lead on the harness yeah. and then the regular leash also yeah. so that if, if the dog gets really scared and tries to run mm -hmm. I've got this leash here so that they can't she can't run if she starts to panic or anything mm -hmm. and I just want to let her s see what that is because if that slips out of our hand when we're walking and the, then the dog can panic and then they'll run See how that, it scares her a little bit. Yeah. Not too bad, but it scared her a little. I'm gonna give her a treat too. So I got the, oh, you like the treats. Come here. Distract her with the treat a little bit. Come here. Come on. <laughs> she's, she's kind of afraid to move. Yeah. But if, uh, come here. So I'm gonna move her with the leash just a little bit. Come here, mommy. Good girl. Good girl. That's right. And we'll just walk a little bit. Come on. Let's go. So she's a... but with this other leash, I can make sure. She's pretty mellow. She just kind of, she kind of stops and doesn't move, which is smart. A lot of dogs will run, and then this will chase them. Yeah. And no matter how fast they go, they can't outrun it. Yeah. Good. There you go. That's better. Yeah. She's I just wanted to realize what it is. It's just this thing that's attached to the leash. It's not something that's chasing you. Yeah. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. That's right. Move again. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Just like that. Okay. Let's go. There we go. See, she's getting a little better, so now she's moving. Yeah. Good girl. The treats are helping. She's like, well, it's worth it if I get a cookie. Come here. All right. There we go. That's good. And then now when we take her out, we'll just be real careful not to drop it, not to let go of it. Okay. Okay. We're going to do it again. We're outside. So I'm, I'm, I extended it out so it's not quite so close to the dog. And, but especially because on the street it makes a lot more noise. So she, she's, not, she's not so worried about it now. She's getting used to it. Yeah, it's a good girl. Good girl, huh? Yeah. That's right. That's right. Okay, so there you go. It's pretty simple. Uh, it shouldn't take a million repetitions, but you just got to watch the dog and see that the dog's not panicking. Uh, it's definitely a worthwhile exercise to do if you're going to use a flexi or a retractable leash. Uh, now, a lot of dog trainers don't like the flexi leashes because, uh, for various reasons, usually because there's a little bit of tension on there and they feel that it's teaching the dog that if you pull, it makes the leash get longer, that kind of thing. So that's one argument for using the harness. So that little bit of tension is not being felt on the neck. Um, but really, honestly, the only re the reason we're using the harness is because that's what they were already using. And they were not looking for any sort of stellar obedience training or anything like that. The problem was just that the dog, like the leash slipped out of her hand and the dog went kind of roaming around the neighborhood and wouldn't come. So, or when the dog gets out of the house, goes roaming around and doesn't want to come back. So it really was just a recall issue or a running off issue. So the retractable, my thinking with that was 
to allow the dog to have a decent amount of freedom and feel loose, but while the owner was actually providing that freedom or sharing that freedom with the dog and then less reason for the dog to have to run away, plus um, being able to practice your recalls, right? So you call the dog, if they don't come, you just push the button on the retractable and give it a little pop, boom, hey, come on, I'm serious, get over here, good, and then reward the dog for coming. So just basic, simple, giving the dog some free roaming experience and practicing the recalls, that was the reason for the retractable, which they had not been using, and the, the harness basically was really just because that's what they were already using, and I saw no reason for the dog to need any extra leverage because we weren't doing any real obedience training other than just a little recall okay so that's that it's up to you but if you are going to use one i recommend seriously uh doing that that little uh, exercise to prevent them from panicking making sure they un they know what it is it's just a little thing that's attached to the leash nothing to panic about okay the, i hope that was helpful for you guys and uh, if you have any questions or anything feel free to contact me and go to thrivingk9.com for other videos and articles and all kinds of information thank you very much see you later